is the you know NMC guidelines and rules. There are certain rules and guidelines, so the university is fulfilling all of them. We talked with our director, Dr. Zafar, as well, and yeah. we he explained we, things. Yeah. yeah, we are following all the okay. rules. So I thought I'll ask you about how the education is here. What are you doing to? Dear students and parents. मैं डॉक्टर मिनल डायरेक्टर ऑफ ड्रीम एम अभी मेरी बहन डॉक्टर श्रेया गई हुई है समरकंद स्टेट मेडिकल यूनिवर्सिटी में वहाँ के ऑफिशियल से बात करने उन क्वेश्चंस के ऊपर जो जनरली हर एक पेरेंट और स्टूडेंट के मन में आता है जब वो प्लान करते हैं अपने एडमिशन समरकंद स्टेट मेडिकल यूनिवर्सिटी में मेडिकल की पढ़ाई के ऊपर इस वीडियो में वो बात करने आई हैं समरकंद स्टेट मेडिकल यूनिवर्सिटी के डीन डॉक्टर सोवीर जोन से आपके क्वेश्चन के ऊपर सो प्लीज वॉज द इंटरव्यू हेलो आई एम डॉक्टर श्रेया एंड टूडे हेयर विद अस is the dean for international students sabu john of samarkand state medical university yes so welcome you sir and thank you for giving us your time Please. and uh, i am here on behalf of our students and parents who are willing to take admission in your university they are interested mm -hmm. but they have some questions some queries and some doubts mm -hmm. so thank you that you are willing to answer them please uh so first of all uh, is the you know nmc guidelines and rules there are certain rules and guidelines so the university is fulfilling all of them we talked with our director dr zafar as well and yes. we he explained we, it we, that yeah we are following all the okay. rules so i thought i'll ask you about how the education is here what are you doing to uh, i see no, actually uh, in samarkand state medical university uh, one of the mm, big universities in the central asia yeah Of course, it is unique one in Uzbekistan. We have a uh, academy, we have a medical academy, we have an institution, but university is just only one. So, uh, for the students, the students they are taking general medicine course, which based on the six-year education systems. So, uh, for this reason the students who have admitted to our university the documents they have to pass an interview of course and then they become as um, our students <coughs> actually uh, our international education faculty uh, here is uh, there are more than 2300 students are studying nowadays from several countries uh, like uh, india pakistan Baroka, Bangladesh, Afghanistan, South Korea, etc. So we are trying to do our best to create to our foreign students, or not not only for foreign students but our local students as well, the good conditions to gain uh, the knowledge and of course the for the practice as well. So why we have uh, several buildings. and we have a uh, two uh, hospitals where the students can take some practice as well during the classes so we have a uh, four uh, different institutions as well but uh, the institutions for researchers and for phd's course and master course students we have uh, nine faculties in our university nowadays one of them international education faculty our faculty yeah. so is the uh, what is the medium of the education like is all six year in english of or course. of course all six our our uh, education process before you students they have to study in english language actually and uh, after each year they're taking uh, practice as well like internship they are they have to take internship like uh, after the first course as an assistant of the first level the second year assistant of the second level like that they they have to take five five times those kind of internship so then they have uh, take some um, final state exam and after six years before graduation ceremony so that means uh, be They are, they, we are trying to create good conditions for study for our foreign students. Yeah, thank you. And uh, how do you organize the classes? Like nowadays, this university is like one of the most famous among Indians nowadays. Yes. So there are a lot of students coming 
yes so how are you managing with that like it usually is the misnomer is that when the number increases the quality decreases how are you what are you doing to keep up with the quality actually uh, for the rising the quality of the education process uh, our local uh, professors and teachers uh, they are uh, of course uh, teaching the students in english language they are trying to improve the english as well and besides uh, we have uh, more than 30 uh, uh, teachers from abroad as well like uh, India and Pakistan. So, uh, of course, we have uh, enough uh, uh, auditoriums, uh, lecture rooms, where the students can study. And uh, especially, <clears throat> we created new simulation center nowadays. Uh, the students can st study there and they can gain knowledge and practice in this simulation center. Yeah, I heard that. That's a good approach. Yes, right. And what about the clinical postings? Like, uh, are you dividing them in groups? How are they going for the clinical postings? Like, oh. if, for example, if there is 100 students in a batch, okay. so for the clinical posting, uh, all 100 cannot be posted at a time in the hospital? Actually, you know, uh, we have, uh, in like, uh, <clears throat> in, the, in, the, in the group, there are not many 12 students in one group. Uh. So, and uh, actually, at, at maximum in five groups, mm -hmm. they are collecting in the one patok. Patok means th this is, this is uh, yes, right, small, small facility, uh, faculties. Mm -hmm. uh, so, so, around 60 students can attend at the, at the same time in the one subject, probably in general surgery. Well. And, you know, uh, in our university, we have a five uh, surgical departments and we are dividing the students to each to each department so they can share they can have access to the operation room the bandage room and they can connect with the patient as well uh, of course it's a little bit difficult to connect with this patient because like most of them yes they are speaking in national our Uzbek language, and uh, some of them in, uh, can speak Russian as well. So just uh, some some difficulties in the language barrier, you know. Yeah, but I think you are teaching them language as well. Exactly. From first course, they are study Uzbek language. Yeah. Yes, they can choose. They can study Russian as well because we have a Russian department in our university, who they where the students study a Russian language. So just our dean name, Bataya. Uh, he is dividing students into different groups. Like for example, he said surgery. Me, wo paanch alag alag groups me divide karte hain. Paanch alag departments se saara group apne alag alag departments se jata hai. Taki wo bhir na bane. Sab apna apna achhe se pad sake, seek sake, sabko achha approach mil sake. So that is a good approach. Thank you. So just I would like to tell uh, very important things. Our honorable rector, uh, Professor Rizaev Jasur. He is trying uh, to create all good conditions, excellent conditions for our uh, foreign students. Uh, so just I have to say that almost uh, every time he is trying to be in contact with the foreign students because he can speak English very well. So uh, the students can keep in touch every time because he has his uh, personal number which is uh, he can spread to all local and to all foreign students because uh, he would like to be in touch. Uh, he, he, he would like to be communicate with the students, especially the foreign students, because, you know, the foreign students, uh, they are here. They're very far from the home country, the home. Well, they're very far from relatives. So that means uh, our department, our faculty members, yeah. Like the parents, the parents, you know. We are, exactly. We always try to be uh, in good contacts with our students. That's so we are trying to solve not only problem which is related with the education process, but some personal problems as well. We are trying to do our best yeah, to solve the problem. Parents will be like very happy to know this. Uh, I do, I do. Yeah. So they are always welcome, you know. 
Many times uh, the parents of the students are visiting summer camp. So even recently we, uh, we had uh, some guests from India, from Pakistan. Uh, they are, they are uh, trying to know what kind of conditions for study, uh, what kind of conditions, living conditions. So that means uh, actually we have uh, several uh, hostels and uh, uh, which belongs to our university and uh, we have our partners, I mean the, uh, the agencies who is providing us with the medicals with the, for the, with the students. So of course uh, we have a good cooperation with those kind of agencies and we are trying to do our best for the student's life of our medical students in summer camp. Yeah, thank you so much. You're welcome. What would, be, uh, what would be that one message you would like to give to the parents and students who are like, uh, no, no. you take admission here? Okay. You know, Samarkand is located in the, on the way of the Green Silk Road. Yeah. Uh, it's a historical place. And uh, I have to say that our city, our republic is uh, very safety. Yeah. Uh, that I hope uh, for our foreign students, uh, the living condition is very nice, and the weather also. Yeah. The, as you see, I hope you saw already that our population is, our people are very polite. Yeah. With the foreigners as well. So uh, the parents who would like to send us their um, daughters or sons to study here, just I would like to say that. They are always welcome because uh, Samarkand State Medical University one of the best one in the Central Asia, and uh, I have to say that recently we have we have got uh, we we passed international accreditation in attestation. Mm -hmm. That means our diploma mm -hmm. is uh, have a very good uh, position in the world as well. Yeah. So please welcome. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you, everyone.